Objective accomplished. Commander, we have defeated Nexus. If you're going to lie to me, Christine, at least make it believable. Our previous experience of the Nexus Intruder Program enabled us to isolate it before it took full control of our systems. We are manually purging all traces of Nexus. Unfortunately, this has adversely affected the performance of our systems. Bear with us while we rectify this situation. We are currently receiving this transmission. This is Team Alpha. Oh, hey, it's David of Alpha. Man, after our phone calls, I forgot how much different he sounds on the radio. Repeat, this is Team Alpha. We require immediate assistance. And the first thing he needs is to be rescued. Ah, oh, well, I guess it's the least I can do since I have a transport at all. We are under heavy attack from cyborgs, laser tanks, and strike VTOLs. We were trying to reach your position, but we've been ambushed. We're holed up in a valley at these coordinates. Please assist. Coordinate download completed. Commander, forces from Team Alpha escaped the nuclear attack on Alpha Base. Take a scout force to these coordinates and evaluate the situation. It may be another Nexus trap. Determine whether they are Team Alpha. If possible, rescue Team Alpha and escort them back to the LZ. Mission timer activated. This will be one of those stages where we will need a chunk of the timer to complete it. At least, we will if you're using my strategy of four combat units and six trucks. Construction completed. As soon as you land, you will get cyborged from two directions. Make sure an assault gun takes out the nearby tree so you can set up a repair bay immediately. You are going to need it. Also, while fighting, see if you can get your trucks to set up some MG bunkers. Their exact placement isn't so important, just that they don't block the repair bay. Unit under attack. LP compromised. Unit under attack. LP clear. Unit under attack. After the first two groups fall, another two more powerful groups are on their way. I have six trucks here, and we'll be using them to set up stuff as fast as I can click. I suggest you do the same. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. LP compromised. Structure under attack. Construction completed. LC clear. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. LC compromised. LC clear. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. LP compromised. LP clear. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Normally, I don't mind losing a truck, but we aren't allowed to bring in reinforcement loads until a certain part of the stage is passed, and our trucks will be vital to our strategy. Also, I don't have any reinforcements, so that's a thing too. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Structure under attack. Unit under attack. Nexus starts the stage with a fair few packs of cyborgs, and we'll be getting periodic cyborg reinforcements from these two locations. Sadly, they've also got damage and armor upgrades for this stage, so our assault guns aren't quite as effective as they used to be in taking them down. 
this is going to be a slog. While real estate at our LZ is limited, setting up a lot of long-ranged artillery will help for most of the rest of the stage. So, with money once again not a problem, pack in as many ripple rockets and ground shakers as you feel confident building. The major strategy for this stage will be a good old-fashioned hammer and anvil approach. Our discount MBG will move to an area to clear it, then the trucks will come in behind and set up shop. This is nothing new to us, but in most previous stages our pushes covered more than 9 feet each. This stage's claustrophobia is palpable. Construction completed. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. I had brought two fast bobs in here for rapid response trucking, but given how this stage is, I wasn't able to micro well enough to use them as such. Stupid micro. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Construction completed. These two areas are the ones we want to lock down with defenses before making a really aggressive push, because when our four combat units head out, the trucks have to be able to fend for themselves. And once those two areas are secure, we'll be making our push up the eastern hill. 
As much of a logjam as this has been so far, I'll be following the combat tanks with the heavy bobs, since we've seen how much damage we've been taking so far this stage. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure completed. Structure under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Construction completed. 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 
Structure completed. Structure under attack. Unit under attack. This stage really wants to pound home the whole fighting on multiple fronts concept. When's the last time we had to deal with that on a large scale? Alpha 12? Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Here is the stage's first strategic goal, this cyborg spawn point. Locking this down not only cuts the cyborg spam we have to deal with in half, but it will also secure our backside from flanking attacks. This area is going to be built in a tightly packed formation. The idea is that defenses and the repair bay will be within one square of each other, and the truck that stays to keep up repairs will be sitting right between them. That way, any damage to the buildings the truck will repair and any damage to the truck, the facility will repair. While it's going up, we'll need to keep the combat tanks present, of course. The cyborg spawns in this stage are somewhat large and somewhat frequent. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. No dawdling. With that combination attack down, I have just enough time to move south a bit and set up the next area as well as walling off the one truck back in this spot. Also, before moving any farther than this next spot, we're going to want to make sure we have some AA up. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed.
Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Well, seems this anti-cyborg wall is effective. Construction completed. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Oh, hey, SAM sites. This is a good time to save. As soon as you spot the first SAM site of the stage, that means you're about to trigger the cutscene. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Incoming intelligence report. Incoming transmission. Glad you could make it, Commander. Enemy strike VTOLs have got us pinned down. We've managed to hold off cyborgs and tanks, but we haven't been able to make any progress along the valley. Can you try and reach us with anti-aircraft units? Oh, anti-aircraft, you say? Reinforcements are available. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. I could bring in reinforcements now, but the only thing I have at base is the Arnolds, and they wouldn't help much. The bottom half of this map has more SAMs in it than it does trees. Construction completed. We're going to use the central and right side valleys for our units, so to protect our posteriors, let's block off the left approaches. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack.
construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Up this ramp is the stricken Alpha Team, but the instant we rescue them, all hell breaks loose. Thankfully, through the power of semi-commentary YouTube guides, we can avoid most of this with good preparations. I've been informed by members of the Warzone Resurrection Project that in addition to the hard timer in the top right, there is also a soft timer where Team Alpha will come under attack even if they haven't been triggered yet which means we're on the clock. That's not specifically why I start bringing my fast bobs to the front at this point, but it ends up working out, so no complaints here. Structure under attack. The second cyborg spawn area is in the bottom left corner, and the now active VTOL spawn area is down there as well. So just like the center right, we will be setting up a wall to intercept arriving forces. We are also going to want a wall covering this area. Up until now, Nexus has only used cyborgs, but whoa boy do they have a force or two that are just waiting to use this approach to ruin our day. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Well, that hurt, but at least it survived. A fast bob wouldn't have. Construction completed. Structure under attack. The goal is to set up the same style of repair bay backed bunker line that we have on the map's middle right, but the bottom left one will also need some hurricane pits. As like last time, the combat tanks will front for the truck as it's being set up. Construction completed. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Well, I guess the good news is they aren't firing at Alpha Team. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Unit under attack. Unit 
Under attack, construction completed. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Structure under attack. Construction completed. I'm going to fly in every last unit I have at this point. It's still unsafe to use the Arnolds. Even with the SAM pits down, Nexus has some Princess Leia launches around. This choice has to do with next stage. I've been preparing for Gamma 5 since Gamma 1, and as we are about to arrive at that stage, now is the last chance to make preparations. Team Alpha will trigger the remainder of the map when spotted. In front of them are four tank traps that don't count, but anything else starts the party and that party hurts. We are going to want defenses in place without actually spotting Alpha Team. That means making defensive lines at two points. One is at the south and is already set up, and the other is right here. Notice exactly where I am putting the bunkers. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Another Gamma 5 preparation is to have as many trucks as possible waiting around for the stage to start. I'm pretty much at the cap of trucks right now as is, but it doesn't hurt to overbuild them. Construction completed. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Alright, the corner defenses should be set up before the next cyborg assault arrives. Time to pull out the tanks. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Reinforcements landing. I may have overdone the anti-aircraft just a bit. Construction completed.
Construction completed. Structure under attack. Construction completed. 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 Structure under attack. Construction completed. 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 Structure under attack. Construction completed. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Construction completed. 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 I'm sending the tanks back to the LZ due to their low speed. I don't want them getting in the way of faster units during the next phase of this map. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed.
Construction completed. My hover truck spotted a Nexus group right before the final cutscene triggered, so I changed plans at the last microsecond. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Taking out two Nexus units is nice, but I got the idea to set up a sensor by the bottom wall overlooking the map's southeast corner. Turns out, that's going to be a really good idea. Construction completed. Commander, this group has been identified as part of Team Alpha. Rescue them and escort them to the LZ. What's left of Team Alpha? Return Two repair tanks, LZ. ten combat tanks, and a truck. Well, there would be a truck, but I'm capped on trucks right now. Not exactly a huge force, but... Check it out, they are all hero rank. All combat units from Alpha are hero level. This is both a blessing and a curse. Though with the help of this semi-spoiler walkthrough, we can negate the curse part. We just need to get these guys back to our LZ, which is made somewhat annoying by the two mini-pod launchers David of Alpha set up. Okay man, I'm sure you just did that to troll me. Thankfully, it's easy enough to recycle them. With the team found, Nexus spawns a massive attack force to engage them, but that force got spotted and shelled by the bottom defenses, resulting in them going that way instead. Team Alpha will get to retreat while not under fire. Return to Alpha. Nexus will continue to spawn cyborgs and planes in the three areas they have been all map, and now semi-infrequently attack teams will start spawning in the southeast as well. But our only goal now is to return to the LZ, and all of the defenses we have up should handle them off holdily. What? Uh... Hold them off handily as we pull back. I'm going to recycle the two Alpha Repair Tanks as I have no use for them. I'm also going to regret that decision at the start of Gamma 5. It doesn't end up biting me in the tailpipe, but I recommend you guys leave one of the Repair Tanks around. You'll see in a bit. For now, tell everyone to head back to the LZ, except your trucks. Park them off to the side so that the stage doesn't end. Return to LZ. Return to LZ.
Return to LZ. Return to LZ. Structure under attack. Return to LZ. Return to LZ. Structure under attack. Return to LZ. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Returned. Just like the end of beta, I'm going to recycle all of my experienced units to put their experience in a queue for next stage. Let's demonstrate that now. Mission failed. And this is why I wish I had left up an alpha repair tank. Mission timer activated. Part of the stage's goal is to rescue alpha units. If no alpha units are left, the stage fails. So I'm going to have to leave a single alpha tank unrecycled and just make sure to take care of it next stage. Objective accomplished. <laughs>